Dropbox is an amazing service that allows you to store your files, back your files up, and share files online. But can we turn it into a website? Let's find out. Before we get started, let's talk about the advantages of using Dropbox as your hosting service. Dropbox allows you to drag and drop files, which is really nice. It doesn't require you to know anything to do with FTP and you get plenty of space. The more people you invite, the more space you can have. So 20.5 gigs available for me currently, as I've invited quite a few people to the service. It's really good. So that being said, we have four different services we can use for hosting a website through Dropbox. I'm gonna go through each of them and show you their example pages and why you might want to use them. The first app we're gonna start with is Drop Pages. And as you can see, I have a subdomain with this service. Some of these do include having your own domain, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you my subdomains here. So here is my one, and I have content, public, and templates. Now I've added a template into this just to show you how it looks. And as you can see in the content area, this is the area you're probably most likely gonna be. Everything is done in text files. As you can see with the sample syntax, it pretty much shows you the markdown language that you're gonna be using. And if I go ahead and show you what it looks like, this is the website. As you can see, it's quite an involved website and it's all done through the theming and through this individual text file. So you can go ahead and check those out. That is my drop pages. Next up is pancake.io. My subdomain with this is mobilephone2003.pancakeapps.com. And again, this uses that markdown language, but this time adds a little bit of HTML in there. Now they do have a default template for this, which actually looks quite simple. We see that there. Very nice. Uh, as you can see, we've got some images provided. That's all done through the HTML. And uh, one thing to note is that these sorts of services do have things like bandwidth restrictions. So you wouldn't really want to use this for hosting MP3s and large files. Uh, Dropbox pretty much does that anyway. So you don't really need these services for that. It's just for basic websites. So that is pancake.io. So the next app is Scriptogram, and this has a focus on blogging. Another great thing about Dropbox is if you right click and see view previous versions, that's pretty much an automatic backup system. So if you're editing your posts, you can go ahead and revert back if you have any issues. You can see we've got a .md file here. So that again is using that markdown language. The great thing about that is that I can use any editor I wish, in my case, Notepad++. So this will go ahead and synchronize itself to the Scriptogram website. You also have an option to manually synchronize it. I can add a post or view my posts. And in the tools area, I have the CSS editor and HTML editor, or I can change my theme. If I see the default one, you'll see my username is MP2003. If I had Mobile Phone 2003, it would actually put itself on a new line because for some reason they have not allowed for much of a username to be put here. This is the default post example text. And as you can see, using the markdown language, it uses Twitter bootstrap. So it's quite nice to see uh, all the fancy text done here. So that pretty much covers scriptogram. And finally, we have site 44. This is probably the most bare bones of them all. I still get that subdomain, mobile phone 2003. And if I go in and you see my index HTML, this is what I made myself just to quickly show you. And as you can see, it pretty much shows up. I can put anything I like here. So that pretty much covers it. Four different services you can use to turn your Dropbox into a website host. This is ideal for those of you who don't want to learn FTP, those of you who want a very quick, easy way to mess around with PHP, HTML, and all that sort of stuff. Or if you know someone who doesn't really understand websites, you can show them a service like this and just say, look, get Notepad, this is all you need to do, and you're good to go. So that covers it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.